Happy four pupils, welcome back. Now, today we're going to learn about squares and rectangles. It's a recap, but we are going to talk about angles particularly. Now, what about this? Okay, now, you say, um, I learned it already. Yes, you have learned it for some of you, but some of the people have not. But, I know that there are lots of common mistakes that pupils will always make. So that's why let me show you what are the common mistakes. But before that, let me explain the basic first. So, we have a square, we have a rectangle. Now, for a square, always remember, a square has four equal sides. And these four equal sides have four right angles. One, two, three, and four. We have four right angles. Now, that was what you learned in the properties right now. Now, if you have a line, a line, a straight line that cuts from one end to the diagonal of the other end, like what you see down here, the line down here. Now, straight away, what comes to your mind? You must know that this is 90 degrees. You got to divide by 2. Now, 90 degrees written like this, 90 degrees divided by 2, and you get a 40 five degrees okay so this angle a will then be written as 45 degrees okay that's how we get our answer meaning every time you see a square you have a diagonal line that goes across like this always make sure it is 90 degrees divided by 2 and straight away this is 45 then you ask me teacher Patrick what about this one this one will also be 45 Okay, because these two angles should be the same. Yes. Now, coming on to rectangles now. Rectangles, a lot of people will also think it is 90 degree divided by 2 equals to 45. No, it's not correct. Remember, it's not right. You can't do that. Rectangle is very different from squares. Although, they have four right angles as well. 1, 2, 3 and 4, they have 4 right angle, but you can't just do this. Now, you can't do this 90 degrees divided by 2 equals to 45. No, this is wrong, okay? So don't do that. Now, how should you find the answer then? Now, since you know that the right angle is 90 degrees, usually they will give you one of the angle, so they have given to you here, 60. So we can find what is B. Now, look at this. 60 and B, when I add them up, they should fall 90. So to find B, it will be 90 degrees minus 60 degrees equals to 30 degrees. And angle B equals to 30 degrees. That's how we get our answer. So this is 30. Okay, you see, if I put 30 here, 30 plus 60, is it 90? Yes, right now. Okay, now finally, Let's come to this example. Now, this example is made out of a square and a rectangle. Okay, let me specify. It's a square and a rectangle. Now, they want us to find angle C down here. Now, what is angle C? If you look at it closely, angle C is made out of a square with a diagonal line. So, it's made out of this angle here. It's made out of one angle here. And it's of course made up of another angle from the rectangle side. Now, let's find part by part. For this one, this angle that we're going to find, easy to find. I told you before, the moment you see a square, square straight away you divide by 2. So, we will use 90 degrees divide by 2, 45. So, this is 45 degrees. Okay? Now, what about this one? This one in red. How about this one? Now, look at this. This whole thing is a right angle. Okay? So this angle in red and this 35 should add up to be 90. Right now. So, 90 minus 35 equals to, what is that? 50. 5, right now, okay. So, this is 55. Then you say, did you question how you know it's 55? 
55 degrees plus 35 degrees, is it 90? Yes, it's 90 degrees. Now, to find angle C, it's very easy already, we found answer. Angle C is this black part down here, black angle down here. So, it is 45 plus 55. So, let's add them up. 45 plus 55 equals to 100 degree. So, angle C equals to 100 degrees. Have you gotten it right? Okay, 